you know, listening to Howard Rose's press conference and Nick Sarnes' press conference, there's a chance that B. John Robson is a Philadelphia Eagle by next week. What is good, everybody? It's your man, EC1, coming at you with another video. Listen, you know, everybody tells me we shouldn't take running backs at 10. And I say, why? When you are one piece away from winning the Super Bowl. Well, why, why are we going to take a running back when we need defense? When we need secondary? If Jalen Carter is not there and Will Anderson is not there, which is more likely they're not there, I'm taking the best player available. You don't reach when you don't need to. When you got a chance at a lottery ticket, don't you want to reward yourself? Don't you want to reward yourself with a good compensation or a, a good, I mean, something nice? I, f I feel like that you, you know, if you win something, don't you want to, Reward yourself with a nice present for yourself? When you go out to the mall, do you want to just get the, the, the fake Gucci bag? Or do you want to get the real Gucci bag? When you go to the jewelry store, do you go to the bubblegum machine? Or do you go... No, you go to the real jewelry store, right? It's like the draft. When you got a chance to get a B. John Robinson at 10. When you have an offense that's so good right now. That's going to be here for years. And yes, Lane Johnson's getting old and people worried about that. But I feel like next year you can draft a left tackle. You got another first round next year. You don't have a chance at another running back next year coming out. You don't know what's out there next year. You do know what's out there this year. And you got two elite running backs in this draft. And I feel like the one running back that I don't see you passing up on, I don't, I don't see the Eagles passing up on, is Bijan. When you listen to B. John Robinson, he said he met with two teams today. Two teams that he met with. Not today, but, but a while ago. And that was the Philadelphia Eagles, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The, Pan the Buccaneers have the 19th overall pick. If the Philadelphia Eagles don't land them, I guarantee the Bucs will get them. But listen to the Philadelphia Eagles and they ask, why should we take you at 10? And Bijan said, you're not getting the running back. You're getting an impact player. You're getting a guy that's a game changer. You're getting a guy that's not just a, an ordinary running back. You're getting a guy that can change your offense. Why wouldn't you want that? I feel like that's what every team wants. A game changer. And when you have the 10th overall pick, you do take risk like that. So drafting a running back at 10 makes more sense now. Because you're one piece away from winning a Super Bowl. And how do you get back to that place? You add more explosive to your offense. You take your more explosive side of the ball and you add to it. You don't go... And add to your less side of your ball, which is the defense. You go to your most explosive side of the ball, which is your offense. Your offense is the one that's really helping you in games. Not your defense. You know that you're not going to have your starters back on defense. You're not, you're not going to get all your starters in one day on your defense. It don't work like that. I want people to understand something. You're not going to have all the defensive starters back in one day. They're not going to be impact starters day one. Whether you draft for Jalen Carter or Anderson. But B. John Robinson is a day one impact starter. That's going to help your offense. And two, you're able to retool your defense. And make your defense what it was before. When you lose pieces to your ball side of the ball in your defense. 
Sometimes you get a running back so you can take the pressure off your defense, which will help you also your quarterback that needs a guy that can take the load off of him so he doesn't get injured. Last year, Jalen Hurts' shoulder could have, was injured. and Thankfully, it was just a sprain. But what happens if it ends up being torn? You don't want your quarterback to get hurt. That's why a lot of teams lose their quarterbacks. Because they don't build around their quarterback. And I feel like if you get a B. John Robinson. You're helping your quarterback out. Who you just paid a lot of money to. So that's just my thoughts ladies and gentlemen. Let, let me know what y'all think. I know a lot of people in the comments say we shouldn't draft Bijan, But I'll look at them like this. Do you want to be a winner? Or do you want to be a loser?